Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I am so happy to finally be reviewing a Las Vegas institution, the Double Down Saloon. This place is a bastion for the local scene, and I'm looking forward to diving in. I just hope I don't get sued by a certain rodent. Located in between the infamous Fruit Loop and a dispensary, Double Down Saloon has been serving up loud music and attitudes since the early 90s, all in blessed air conditioning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This place is decidedly local and decidedly punk and rockabilly, mostly. The decor takes the dive bar and cranks it up to 11, but somehow that just adds to the charm of the place. When I mentioned I was coming to the Double Down to someone, I was advised to try something called ass juice. He said a naughty word. I did, and it was delicious. While I was at it, I made some new friends. If you're coming for a show, show up early. This place gets packed pretty much every day of the week, and with cheap drink prices and a friendly but no-nonsense staff, it's easy to see why. I was there to check out a couple of bands that are going to be on the channel soon. The Sciatics and Sector 7G. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Double Down's stage isn't the biggest, but it fits the bill for most acts. The atmosphere is intimate and loud, and the feeling is friendly and supportive for local music. That being said, they've actually had some big names play here too, including Korn, Me First and the Gimme Gimmies, and more. The show was kicked off by Big Like Texas, an awesome local rockabilly act that's also, hopefully, coming on the show soon. Their sound was tight, and they wasted no time in getting heads bopping and toes tapping. Imagine a combination of rockabilly and surf rock and you pretty much have them nailed. They were solid, and it was obvious they were veteran musicians. Did I mention about subscribing? The Swank Bastards was next, and I can't wait to get them on the show. They came out swinging with a surf rock anthem that made you pay attention to them. With no vocals, you might think it'd be tough to capture an audience's attention, but you'd be wrong. Ooh. Between their dynamic playing and the dancing going on, it was easy to see why they were so popular around town. It was actually refreshing to just enjoy the music without the need to focus on lyrics. They were truly the embodiment of background music with a purpose. The Sciatics was next, and tonight was their album release party. And let me tell you, they came to play! Out of the gate, they were swinging for the fences and didn't let up during their entire set. A little punk, a little rockabilly, and a little bit alternative rock combined to make an amazing melange of sonic bliss. It has been 18 months since they played, and you could tell they were releasing all that pent-up energy on stage. Make sure that you pick up their new album by clicking the link below. Wrapping up the night was Sector 7G. This band brought the straight-ahead punk mixed with a little melodic rock. This three-piece packed a lot of sound into their set. Once again, even though they were the last set of the night, the crowd stuck around. Punk crowds represent Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll drop by the Double Down if you're ever in the area. While you're at it, go ahead and click the link down below to uh, pick up the new uh, CD from The Sciatics. It's called The Devil You Know. I'm doing a separate review of it, so make sure you subscribe so you get notified when I do that. And I'm also going to be interviewing them. Um, other than that, if you want to be on the channel, whether it's reviewed or interviewed, hit me up. I got an email address down there. Uh, if you want to support the channel, I've got a link down there as well for room6.shop for merch, uh, Patreon page. All sorts of perks on there. I've also got a couple albums out for sale. So, you know, if you want to help out, it'll help the local scene. And it will help me and it will help you. So, win, win, win. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down here. And don't forget to ring the bell. I know I've hit you over the head a lot with the subscription, but I need more subscribers. So, come on. Remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6.